So yeah, uh, uh, okay. What's triggered and pissed me off? Well, the old bill. The courts. Especially the judges, you, Judge Judith Rowe, who told Hillingdon to go and fix the damage that they've caused, and they ain't, still haven't. In fact, they're now uh, fraudulent. So I would suggest that Judge Judith Rowe was paid by Hillingdon for an unlawful removal of a child. I will suggest that, and I am going to make that allegation now. There's no reason for her to say what she did and then remove my child for no, no reason. None. Other than I can't talk to professionals. Well, that's the judge's faults. That's the court's faults. That's the professional's faults. That's no fault of mine. So why am I, and I want a fucking answer, why am I being um, persecuted for speaking out? Don't make sense. So it's further unlawful abuse from um, Hillingdon Council. And again... It is being paid. And other files have been paid where like the rent's going in but being taken out again by somebody else, there's no reason for it to be taken out. So District Judge Jordan, you too were paid a considerable sum for unlawful um Judgment, so I want you for misfeasance. Uh, no, I want you. See, the police want they, they've asked me what do I want? I want you done for treason, nothing less, nothing short of that. Treason because that's what it is unlawful abuse of office, then using the police as an unlawful militant force. You, the courts of uh, uh, you, Hillingdon, have just lied through your teeth. Um, Emily was meant to have recorded the entire conversation the other day. Um, uh, she came into your office and all you told her to do was fill out a form online. She filled out the form online. And so Hillingdon are just acting um, unprofessionally. Um, the security man, that staff, the, the security staff who had a go at me, fraggle fucker. How are the dreams coming, dude? Like I've just told someone there, yeah, right? How, what would you do if someone wrote that on your door? Uh, uh, right. I would tell the rest of the fucking street that. Yeah. Why do the police keep coming down? To make sure I'm not kicking the fuck out of you lot and make sure that Emily's all right. Yeah. I'm a bit pissed off with the people in um, my area. Very. So, Mary Eustace, are you actually going to tell me where the bike is? Are you going to return my bike? Because you keep telling people you know where it is. You keep saying to people, and then you lie about it. Just as well I have all the receipts, and I've phoned the old Bill about uh, the theft of my bike that day, remember? When you and Kelly stole my bike? I didn't steal your bike. You did. I don't give a fuck. You were both involved. If someone says, Phil, look after my tarot deck, and then I take that tarot deck, and I go and sell that tarot deck, who's responsible? Right, so if I say look after my house and I come back and people have been raping kids, beating kids, fucking getting them drunk, fucking all kinds of things, if you're in my house, you're just as responsible as the abusers doing it. I look after your house, Phil. No, you're only like interested in trying it, weren't it, isn't it? There was, with Lucy, Clayton, right, Lucy, Clayton, my brother, I'm not too sure about my brother, but I have been told he's included. So there's Lucy Jacobs, all the people that she is with right now, all of them. Rob, the homeless guy with the red dog, they were all going to conspire to kill me and um, steal me a £45,000. Shit you not. <laughs> So she waxed about four and a half grand on my card. 
Uh, no, five and a half grand on my card and four and a half grand on um, cash. I had two grand stashed in my uh, bedroom for my children. When I saw them, I had instant money for them. Then, um, like, I would stash, like, money by the boiler so my electric was sorted out. I'd stash um, money by the electric meters and that. So that was sorted out. You wouldn't have been able to get to the money, no way. Not unless you knew where it was. And only Lucy knew where it was. <clears throat> um, gave her old man £1,500 just to pay for Lucy's fucking university books because her university um, money would go on crack and heroin. <laughs> Booze, crack, heroin. Oh, one or two times she paid, like, the boat licence. Once or twice she paid for the boat licence. I put the money into her account. And then she would pay for it because I didn't do direct debits and stuff like that. I only like paying in cash. That's the only way I like paying in cash. But it's helpful to have a card because then you can actually list everything. So, yeah. And that's pretty cool. So, yeah, there was um, five and a half grand on my card and four and a half grand in my house. So, um, I actually wrote it down on a wall once. And the old building do fuck all. They thought it was fucking hilarious. And then Ian Anderson thought it would be funny to cause as much problem as possible, um, falsify rent rent arrears, um, documents. Um, they kept on saying that uh, my housing benefit had been cancelled. There's no reason for it to have been cancelled, like, ever. Um, the only people who can cancel that is Hillingdon. Nobody else. Even I couldn't cancel that. So only Hillingdon, Ian Anderson and Sarita Baba did that. And a fat manager as well, who was here, who actually first condemned the place. Then the courts condemned the place. So I've got to act in self-defence, whether this place is a shit hole or not, because it's not being taken away from me lightly. And whatever happens, happens. I have to act the way I have to act to protect myself from further professional abuse. Okay? I've made legal lawful threats of intent to police, to the courts, to parliament. So they're fully aware of it. There's nothing that the old bill can do because they have caused the terrorism. They have caused the torture. They have caused the abuse. They've allowed abuse to happen. They, they're, they're fucking... No, man. I want that borough commander sacked. She didn't turn up yesterday and apologise. Instead, furthermore, cops turned up to ask questions about um, Emily and if she's pregnant. So, borough commander, fucking shove it up your ass. I want you sacked. Instantly sacked. You're as bent as a nine bob note, mate. You're corrupt. I don't give a fuck. I do believe, personally believe, you've been paid by Hillingdon. I don't give a shit. Most of you coppers were paid by Hillingdon. A lot of you magistrates, too, paid by Hillingdon. Now, I've been asking for your punishments. I've been praying to Allah for your punishments in the worst way. So, District Judge Jordan, karma's coming for you, definitely, 100%. The little um, racist, abusive security guard. You too, dude. You too. I really wouldn't want to see your mum being spit roast by fucking um, little demons in hell, bruv. You shouldn't have acted the way you did that day, bruv. To understand. Did you read in the other day, you pathetic moron? You got the Ten of Swords, dude. And that little bald monkey, the little short fucking Lee. I I'm sure his name's fucking Lee. Might not be, but anyway. He was there throughout the whole thing. Now, I'd been in the council a couple of times using the phones, and everyone was like, no, you're all right, you're allowed to be here. And then that short little fat fuck, that short little fat fuck, no, he ain't. That little prick. When and started giving it mouth. Even another bloke, I've got him on the recording saying, no, it's all right, I'll get you sorted out. So he has. 
No. Some racist faggot fucking security card comes and punches my fucking fist and um, then starts acting nicely. Well, fuck you, start acting nicely. Be nice. Because you're an impure black heart motherfucking evil prick. So, yeah, if you want to go around believing the um, black eye that Lucy's got, no, man. See, it's funny, man. There's a couple of idiots up and down here who slagged me off, right? And I've heard the story of um, this girl who, um, uh, giving it some mouth, like I've told you, I want punishment in the way that you've laughed at me. You've laughed at my children being taken. You've laughed at the abuse my children have suffered. You've laughed at the abuse I've suffered, so now I want that abuse that I have been caused coming back on you. Fuck yeah, I do. I wouldn't wish shit on my worst enemy, but you aren't enemies. You're lower than lower than lower than lower than lower than low. Oh, I'll see you, matey boy, talking to the fat fuck who's been slagging me off and calling me a paedophile. So I'm not going to trust that matey again, am I? Then what have I been saying? Yeah, wait till you find out who it is. So, um, yeah. She's done, oh yeah, the, the little kid. <laughs> She's apparently felt a hand on the back of her push her into a door. Which is quite fucked up because it, it, it's like, <laughs> I was trying to tell the story about uh, Lucy earlier on to someone, yeah. <clears throat> when the police turned up at her mum's. Yeah, she uh, she had gone fucking mad. She was on the floor, headbutting the floor, headbutting the fucking... Um, side of the door had it not been for that and I'd photographed it um, I, I, I would have been done for domestic violence because no one listens to me anyway but she had smashed it that fucking hard her makeup had actually gone um, into the grain dude yeah man so when I showed that to a priest he shit himself I goes devil's gonna kill you bruv when you go up to heaven and you slag me off for that devil's gonna fuck your mum in the ass, bruv no, my mum's dead. We'll get her a shovel, mate. I'll dig her up for Satan himself. I believe I would. See, when I work for God, I also work for... Um, I have to work for the heavens. Yeah? Right? Now, Lucifer walks all planes. All planes, okay? He doesn't have a cock and balls. But uh, he can come here and do what the fuck he likes. But no, you haven't had sex with Satan. Probably one of his minions, but no. Uh, sorry, Lucifer. You haven't had sex with... Lucifer. Satan? Maybe. Lucifer? No. Do your history before you go, <laughs> it was the same people. No, they're not. So yeah, Lucy used to, like, that's what I used to call him, the medallions. And that's what I used to call her. Oh, what are you doing? Showing off your medallions, are you? Going to try and make me out to be an arsehole, are you? Do that anyway, didn't you, darling? People would move their bike because of her. Yeah, man. Right. This dude, he come down to the boat once, and it, oh, I hadn't seen this guy for a fucking years. And it was just like, brav. Everyone's like, <laughs> when this geezer comes up, and me and him are having a bit of a banter, like, Ugh! and everyone's like, oh, shit. And then we give each other a big fucking cuddle, and everyone's like, what the fuck? And he's like, yeah, he's, he's, he's like a dad to me in a way. And, um... Yeah, he told his daughter, <laughs> he goes, yeah, if you ever break his heart, I'll break your fucking legs. And, oh, bless her, that was funny. But no, nothing could ever come between me and her anyway, because we're just, just like best mates. And like, and she, she is just like a sister to me. And then he looked at Lucy, <laughs> he looked at Lucy and goes, what the fuck is that? What are you doing with that? She tried saying hello, he goes, don't even fucking talk to me, you're a cunt. <laughs> he fucking hated Lucy. Not many people does do like Lucy. The only people who like Lucy are the people hanging around with her so they can take her house. Because, well, you were going to plan with your mates while I was in jail to have me killed. In fact, some of them were in jail. They were even on my wing. There's a clue. They were going to come down my boat. One even had a 38 snub nose. So I just pulled out a fucking samurai sword. <laughs> 
fucking hurry up and pull the trigger, bruv. I even said that. Well, what's this? You're going to plan to kill me, bruv? You got the what? He goes, yeah, you're going to shoot me, kill me, fucking kidnap me or some shit like that. Well, I'm not here. And kill me, put a bullet in my head and put me out of my fucking misery. He goes, you don't care, do you? I went, no. He goes, at least I can come back and then kill, like, in my spirit. My spirit can destroy all of you. Don't mean kill you, I mean destroy you. Because that's what my spirit's going to do when I come back. Each and every single one of you. You see, I keep telling you, right? God will forgive you and forgive you and forgive you and forgive you until one day he goes, I've had enough. Same with me, mate. I don't have... Well, I don't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, I caused a fucking massive earthquake not long ago. Maybe I need to do another one. Should I do another one? Should we do a flood in France? Let's do a flood, in, a flood in France. No worries. No fatalities or stuff like that. I hope not, anyway. But yeah, uh, I'll, I'll do a flood in France. Nah, I'll do one in England. Fuck it. I'm going to make you suffer, man. What you've caused me, I'm going to make you suffer. No, nah, man. For all of you who've laughed. Ha. Ha. It's really not funny. It's really very sad. So, spirits. Punishment for the borough commander, please. God be praised. Send these angels and punish them in all the ways that they tortured me, please. I wouldn't give a shit if a helicopter fell out of the fucking sky and landed on that borough commander. I want her sacked. And any other fucker who's too lazy to fucking do their job. Like I said, if, if they had done their job, my children would be here. I would have been compensated. I'd own my own house and I wouldn't have to worry about fucking anything. Had Hillingdon have even paid me my £2.2 .2 million instead of 45 grand. Cool. I haven't lied to a single fucking one of you, ever. But you've lied to and about me. I'm not talking about my supporters, by the way. Talking about my two-faced, lying, backstabbing, shit-stirring supporters. Though. I'm going to buy you wooden spoons and bowls up and down here for Christmas. I shit you not, I am, man. Shit-stirring motherfuckers. If you see a wooden bowl and spoon on your doorstep Christmas time, that's your curse, man, you shit-stirring bastard. But the one with the big ass dog, yeah. Trouble. So Lucy's house is um, her conman father. See, I'm now starting to disbelieve of all the sexual abuse, but not. Because it's what her dad said. Thank you very much for, like, encouraging her with food because she was an anorexic and I got her uh, back eating and that. She was enjoying cooking and stuff like that. It was cool. And then um, got her in university. And, yeah, and he goes, oh, thank you very much. I really do apologise to my daughter for all the fucking years of abuse. But it never stopped. She used to go around there for a ten, 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 for a ten buck blowjob. Yeah, give her dad a notch. Nice. And then come back and kiss me. I don't fucking think so. Ugh. Why won't you sleep with me? Well, you're getting it off everybody else. The same as Olivia. And what she said about Olivia. How she would say things about Olivia. Olivia was involved, especially when her mates, the dude from the gold shop, kept on coming from my, the, the gold store in Uxbridge, kept on coming past my boat with um, Sarah. Fucking dickhead. And people think I'm stupid. No, I'm polite, and that's about it. But in my head, I'm like, a fucking curse. Each and every bit of fucking jewellery on that fucking store. No, dude. I don't know where Olivia is. Oh, I know where Olivia is, I know, because you lot have been hanging around with her. That's how I know that you've all been together taking the piss. 
When you walk past, when you used to walk past my boat, come on, man, don't be stupid. So yeah, um, Lucy, you're fucked, mate. Your blonde hair might change. You might go round reader to reader, and you might now have your um, little scammers like robbing and ripping fucking tarot readers off. Yeah, mate. I don't charge anyone for uh, tarot reading, by the way, so if anything comes up for Captain Drakkar, I don't charge nothing. They're all free in love and honour for PO4, man. Seriously, they've really helped me out. Now, in that ironic, yeah, the only people who have ever helped me out aren't English. That's real sad to say, actually. My country's let me down in the worst way. The worst way. So, yeah, when people go, oh, your children will come back to me, stop fucking insulting my intelligence. They're not my children, are they? Huh? And all you cunts, yeah? Somebody said it, and I said it in my video a long fucking time ago. Just because you raised them, you've raised them with false love, you've bought their love. Yeah, Linda Good, motherfucker. You've bought their love. So as soon as the truth does start clicking in their heads, they're going to fucking hate you and hate everything you've done or given them. Bought their love to stay away from dad. Fuck you, Linda. Fuck you, Robin. <laughs> Especially when you knew my mother. Oh, I knew you from somewhere. Yes, I recognise you. And then it was like, Robin! We do remember you as children. Even my older brother remembers you when we were kids, Robin. And when we went round to your house with our stepfather, we played in the real tall, long grass that they all cut with you. That's who cut your grass. I remember sitting with you at the end of your garden. We were short kids, babies. Yeah, man. Then Morris Jacobs shagging my mum. Yeah, is a possibility. Lucy Janet Jacobs is my sister. Means I I was shagging my sister from two thousand and twelve to two thousand and eighteen. That was just before I got with Sophie, anyway. So yeah, who have I said? <laughs> My sexual partner's backwards. Emily, Sophie, Lucy. Um, oh, there was that bird up north, that ginger bitch. Um, Olivia, and then Lydia. Apparently there was some, I don't know about that. But yeah. Yeah, I just get screamed, shouted at and told what to do. I have to do it. Because otherwise I'm a monster. I'm a... If I don't do as I'm told, yeah, forced, beyond my will, yeah, because that's not my will to do what you tell me to do, so I'm forced by no choice, yeah, and I say fuck you. That's That's terrorism, mate. So yeah, I hold like the police entirely responsible, entirely. I do hold Hillingdon entirely responsible. Now I'm holding Parliament and its entire entirety responsible. People don't like people like me making noise and calling us troublemakers when we're not the troublemakers. So yeah, punishment, please. Nice. <laughs> well, there's an upside down solace. Hey, Michelin 
knuckle. So upside down solace with Mikkelamuckle. <laughs> uh, something's definitely going to be playing with your dreams, dudes. Here we go, more people with their um, suitcases moving in and then they'll sublet that house. That's what they do here. There's so many benefit cheats up and down this road, it's unreal. I'm the only legitimate one in the road. I don't pull scans, I don't like do this like benefit cheats. I put everything that I should put. I don't go, oh yes, I'm... Oh yes, I'm. No, I'm not this. No, I'm not that. No, I'm not this. No, I'm not that. No, 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 no. Oh, but you're entitled to so much. No, the fuck, I'm not. If I ain't worked for it, it ain't mine. Oh, and who's only ever stopped my careers? <laughs> Jamil. Hillingdon Social Services. Who's fucked me up trying to start my own business? Ah, oh, Jamil. Look, little pricks around here, fucking tipping their shit into the river. Now, that little prick would have glassed me up to the old bill instantly. And all these little shits that go around doing criminal activities, yeah? They're all two-faced little bastards slagging me off. And then going, you aren't Phil. Well, yeah, I will be when I come back in spirit and deal with you. Told you, I'm going to destroy the dreams of yours that you destroyed of mine. Get that in your thick fucking skulls. Hate them motherfuckers. Never did a wrong to you. Pulled you off your mum, though, a few times, like when you were strangling her throat. Do you remember that? Uh, I'm a fucking drunk. Yeah, well, I don't know. I get drunk, like, but I still remember things, unless I absolutely am obliterated, like, to have sex or something. Why do you have, have, uh, why do you have to get drunk to have sex? Well, two reasons. Abuse that I suffered from um, uh, my ex-women. And two, I can't, I can't relax. I think they're going to get me done for rape or they're going to beat me up or fucking something. So there you go. I've never raped, mugged, robbed, murdered anyone. I was a vigilante, a nasty vigilante. Cops will tell you that. <clears throat> I have done some sick shit in my life well what you people would call sick shit but again isn't a paedophile raping a baby sick I actually put it to someone earlier on right I put it to someone earlier on right who uh, so that people slagged me off but nice to my face so I was like okay If I walked past you whilst you were being robbed, raped or attacked or whatever, next time you see me, you're going to call me a cunt, right? Well, yeah. Right, okay. So if I bounce that little fucker's face off the fucking pavement, like, what are you going to say then? Well, no, obviously not. Right, okay. Well, no. I got called a cunt for protecting people and, like, smashed up. And now that I've stopped doing, like, you know, my vigilante shit, the crime rate through here has gone through the route. I don't care. Oh, yeah, so much alcohol, relentless. There's something in it. Yeah, relentless. No, I'm taking the piss. Oh, there's something in it. Yeah, yeah relentless. There's, yeah, there's been no needles in there, mate. There's been no tequila put in there, I promise you. Needles? You clearly know more than I do then, because fucking hell, I wouldn't have thought of that. But no, you can still use. Um, no, they're very thin. They're literally very, very fine. Uh, 
I only watch this because I watch the documentary or something. Well, they used to watch documentaries about murderers and that, and how they did it was put the have a can, get a needle, very, very, very fine, fine needle, because it was metal. Practicing murderer, are we, Emily? No, it's just very interesting to see like how they solve the case. I am a serial killer, though. I have to admit that I ate about 10 packets of cornflakes in one day. <laughs> I got that issue going on. But yeah, that's how you do it, because it's a can, metal bends back. See, I've never premeditated nothing. I've never, like... I'm not premeditating anything. I'm not a murderer. I can promise you that. I've just watched documentaries about murder. I'm well, I was watching um, a documentary the other day about one of the sick bastards, uh, BTK or something, and I was like, yeah, there's BTK, um, uh, born to kill, yeah? Are you born to kill? Well, there's Luke. In my road, there's Luke. He's definitely fucking screw loose. Um, got more screws loose than I have, fucking hell, and I went through the mill. Um... Possible rapist. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past a little fucker or I see he's throwing shit in the fucking river the other day. I told you, you ever lie about me and slag me off, I'm coming for you, one way or another. You go around lying about me when your mum was battered by your old man, mate. And you all fucking... I spoke to your dad the other day, I was like, what the fucking... What, what, what's his problem? There ain't no problem, no, you right, Phil. It's like, well, why is he going around calling me all kinds of cunts, slagging me off behind my back and taking the fucking piss in? I don't know, mate. I'll have to have a word. Fucking right you will, mate. So, uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to go upload this and listen to some music. And then carry on. Boarding up the fucking windows. Have a nice one, guys. Thanks for all your support, by the way. Those of you who do properly support me, for those of you who have complained to the uh, police about their brutality towards me, uh, those of you who have been complaining to uh, Hillingdon about their abusive and um, uh, uh, dangerous staff, I appreciate that. We will get each and every one of those dirty bastards in Hillingdon sacked. And we'll have a nice new staff in there that will help the British people. Love and light to you guys. Peace, love and light to you guys, sorry.